Hey everybody, this is Jacob West with Everness Property Management Detroit. Uh, coming to talk to you guys a little bit today about five questions that you should ask uh, before you hire a property management company in Detroit. Uh, so these are just five questions that we think are a good way to get you started uh, with interviewing property managers uh, and making sure that it's a good fit for you and them. Uh, so the first question that you should ask is how many properties do you manage? Uh, so this could be total across their company, it can be in the Detroit metro area, or you could even get as specific as individual cities or you know counties or areas uh, of the metro uh, as well. But uh, really what this does for you is it kind of gives you an idea of the scale of the operation, uh, where what areas they may specialize in, uh, you know maybe how long they've been in a particular area, uh, you know where most of the properties are located, uh, you know, all those things kind of can give you an idea of whether or not what your what your property uh, matches what they, you know, prefer or specialize in doing. Uh, and then it also gives you an idea, uh, you know, with, when you get an idea for the scale of the operation, you're kind of decide, or you're kind of determining, uh, you know, how how does your property fit into the grand scheme of that property management business? The next question that we think you should ask is. How do you screen potential residents? Uh, so one of the most important things in rental property management and ownership is ensuring that you have good residents in your home. Uh, good residents will take better care of the home, they'll pay rent better, uh, and overall just be a, a, a smoother experience for uh, you and hopefully a more profitable one as well. Uh, so it, knowing a lot about the screening process going in is really important. Um, you know, every property manager is looking for pretty similar things when it comes to screening residents. Uh, you know, everybody's looking at the income, everybody's looking at, uh, you know, some sort of credit score, everybody's looking at criminal background, but the way that each company goes about it, do they use uh, internal staff members, do they use a third party? Um, you know, are they first come first serve or do they send you applications for review? Uh, everybody does things a little bit differently. Um, you know, making sure you're comfortable with you know, their use of softwares and technology to speed that process up uh, or to you know, eliminate human error. You know, every, every bit of that uh, process, uh, though it is a pretty simple uh, idea, every bit of that process can be different across managers and it's important for you to be comfortable with that as the homeowner. Third question we think you should ask is how do you list uh, and, and or market your properties? Uh, when they're uh, up for rent. So equally as important to finding a good resident as the screening piece is the advertising piece. You know, you're never going to find great residents if you're not out there uh, in where those residents are looking for housing. Uh, so again, everybody may do this a little bit differently, but we're, we're all doing the same thing. We're trying to find great residents by putting your property out there somewhere, advertised online, in print, with signs, on the MLS. It can be a variety of different sources and each of those sources has its own pros and cons. Um, you know, so what do you want in terms of the outreach? Do you want a, a company that's going to be using those cooperating brokerages and posting on the MLS? That can definitely help you get, uh, you know, realtor guided showings, which are great, but it can often result in higher leasing fees because you do have to pay those cooperating brokerages. Uh, so pros and cons to every approach, um, and you know, definitely making sure that you are comfortable with uh, your property being out there and getting a lot of eyes on it uh, before you list that property. Fourth question uh, we think you should ask is, how does rent get from residents to you as the owner? So obviously every property management company collects rent and pays it out to property owners. That's the whole point. But how every property manager goes about that is different. Uh, you know, do uh, it, you know if you have a certain time frame you need to meet, you need to be able to plan on when that rent's going to be sent to you. Uh, so making sure that your uh, you know prospective property manager has a defined schedule for disbursements to owners. Uh, and then the last thing uh, that we think you should ask is, do you offer any guarantees to your owners? Um, so at Everness, we do offer uh, four guarantees. Um, the most important one, and the one that I think. Uh, is really uh, you know, the most valuable to our clients is that we have a happiness guarantee. This means that we do not charge any sort of termination fees, we don't charge any sort of penalties for ending your contract, and we don't lock you in for a year. 
Uh, it's essentially a month-to-month -month contract. Either party can terminate with 30 days notice. Uh, and that's helpful for you as a property owner because you don't want to be locked into a contract with a manager you end up not liking. Uh, so making sure that there's no big scary termination fees hanging over your head, uh, you know, that's kind of a red flag. Uh, other things, maybe tenant guarantees. We offer a tenant guarantee. Uh, if a tenant uh, stops paying or has to be evicted in the first year um, and we need to replace that tenant, then we will refund the next leasing fee. Um, so anything that you can uh, get used to give you a little bit of peace of mind as far as who they're putting in your home uh, and making sure they, you know, you know, all these guarantees really are, are just making sure that the, the management company stands behind their work. Uh, whether that's the management services in general, whether that's tenant placement, whether that's maintenance, uh, no matter what the case may be, um, those guarantees give you a little bit of peace of mind that that management company uh, you know, trusts that they're gonna do a good job and make it right if they, if they do drop a ball. Um, so those are the five questions that we think you should start with when you're looking for a Detroit property manager. If you have any other questions about property management or the services that Evernest offers, you can visit us at evernest.co or shoot us an email at support at evernest.co.